Madame Kuchong. President, please be seated. The court is now in session. And today, the chamber will hear the testimonies in relation to case 002, and the chamber will hear the testimony of Mr. And after which uh, we will continue to hear 2TCW 828. I would like to inform all parties that in today's proceeding and the following days, Judge Ayu Otra, national judge, will be absent due to his personal duties. After the deliberation and discussion with the bench, I assign Judge Chumoni, national judge, to replace Mr. Uatra until he is available to perform the duties before the trial chamber. This decision is based on internal rule 79.4 of the ECC. C. Ms. Saikoti, please report the attendance of the parties and other individuals at today's proceedings. Saikoti, Mr. President, for today's proceedings, all parties to this case are present. As for Mr. Nunchia, he is present in the holding cell downstairs. He has waived his rights to be present in the courtroom. The waiver has been delivered to the greffier. The witness who is to testify today is Mr. Chet Yu. The witness and together with the duty counsel are all before the chamber. And we have a reserve witness to TCW 828. To his best knowledge, to TCW 828 is not related to the two accused, Mr. Nunchia and Kyosun Pon, or to any of the civil parties admitted in this case. The witness will take a note before the Iron Club statue before he appear before the trial chamber. And as I inform your honor, he has the duty counsel, Mr. Dutch Pari, with him. President, thank you, Ms. Saikovati. The chamber now decides on the request by Nguyen Chia. The chamber has received a waiver from Nguyen Chia dated 17 of May 2015, which states that due to his health, that is headache, back pain, and he cannot sit or concentrate for long. And in order to effectively participate in the, the future hearings, he requests to waive his right to participate in and be present at the 17th of May of uh, August 2015 hearing. He advised Having seen the medical report of Nguyen Chia by the duty doctor for the accused at the ECCC dated uh, 17 of August 2015, who notes that Nguyen Chia has a chronic back pain when he sits for long and recommends that the chamber shall grant him his request so that he can follow the proceeding remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 81.5 of the ECCC internal rules, the chamber grants Nguyen Chia his request to follow today's proceeding remotely from the holding cell downstairs via an audiovisual means. AV technicians are instructed to, to link the, the proceeding to the room downstairs so that he can follow the proceeding that applies for the whole day. The chamber now gives the floor to the defense teams for the accused. First, you may now proceed to the defense team for Mr. Nguyen
Thank you, Mr. President. Um, good morning, Your Honours. Good morning, Council, and good morning to you, uh, Mr. Witness. Um, I have a few follow-up questions for you in relation to what you testified to last Thursday in this courtroom. Um, I would like to start uh, asking you some questions about um, Taval and Tahun. Um, you gave a, a brief description of Taval. Um, I would like to ask you to be a little more detailed um, about him, about his personality. Uh, what do you remember uh, about Taval? Man. Answer. What I could recall is that he had an awkward speech. Ta-Hung, uh, as for Ta-Hung, I uh, believe he was very gentle and I did not Je know uh, his their demeanor uh, besides that, this. Do you recall where Taval was from originally? They answer. From what I heard, it was said that he was from Kampung Cham province. What about his political views? Do you recall anything of that? I could not recall it. I did not pay any attention to this matter. I would do the assignment that I was instructed to do. Um, Mr. Witness, allow me to uh, maybe refresh your memory a bit by reading some excerpts from your statement to the investigator of DC Kemp. Uh, document E3 slash 9008, English pages 0073 1123 and 24, and Khmer pages 0728 796 and 797. Um, to the um, investigator of DC Chem, you said that um, everybody knew Taval. Uh, Taval was uh, a mean person, absolute uh, in his stands, that he might have been a teacher, and that at times at the Trapping Tma Dam worksite he spoke French uh, with whom. Does that somehow um, recollect? Uh, Refresh your memory, Mr. Witness. Man, people, answer. But From his speech, réponse. À la façon dont il parlait, I could say that uh, he was. A means person, and uh, we were afraid of him. And as I said, he had uh, awkward speech. What about his French, uh, his conversations with Tahun? Question: Avait-il des conversations en français avec Tahun? Answer. I do not know about that. Réponse, je sais rien. I 
I could not say about that. If uh, one individual said uh, he could speak French, I, I could not say anything about this. Let me um, read the literal excerpt from your DC camp statement. Uh, Mr. Witness, uh, English 0731124, Khmer 00728798, and French 0112372720. Question, how about the way he spoke? And then you answer, well, he was absolute. Absolute, question mark. According to his behavior and speech, he might be a teacher. Question, a teacher? Yes, because he spoke French with Tahum. Tahum was a professor from Phnom Penh. Did he speak French when he met Tahum? Yes, you answer. Yes, he spoke French when he walked. Question, did you ever hear him speak French with Tahum? They spoke. I sometimes walked behind them to monitor people building the dam, and what they did not want us to hear about, they spoke in French. Um, having just read a small excerpt from your DC camp statement, Mr. Witness, does that um, refresh your memory somehow? But in answer, uh, that is what I said. I uh, was not able to hear his speech uh, very clearly because he was uh, quite away from uh, me. Um, Mr. Witness, both um, Hung and Aval. Uh, were described as uh, intellectuals, and there's one witness who will be testifying this week who actually called Tahum a top intellectual. Um, is that your recollection as well? Answer. I heard people say that it was said that he was one of the top intellectuals and I did not know his level edu of education. Um, very well. Um, you also, Mr. Witness, testifi testified last Thursday that at one point in time you got uh, demoted. Uh, by Taval, you were fired or removed, and uh, you had to uh, be in charge of uh, collecting fertilizer number one, as you call it. I'm not quite sure uh, if I heard you uh, explain the reasons uh, for this demotion. Uh, you said, I believe, uh, that you dare not ask. But have you maybe heard from others why Taval demoted you? Vous ont rapporté pourquoi Taval vous avez rétrogradé. Réponse. I did not know at that time what mistakes I uh, committed, uh, I was assigned to carry the first grade fertilizer. I did not dare to ask uh, them any question why I uh, was demoted. But have you heard later, uh, once Val had been arrested, um, and did not work any longer at the dam. Have you heard later from other people uh, why Taval demoted you? Some people said I, I was the son of uh, the deputy chief of 
a village and uh, I did not know what mistakes uh, I committed. Um, very well. Let's now move to uh, the arrest of both Taval and Tahum, as well as others. Um, what is it that you recall of these arrests? Let us start with um, a month in a year. Do you remember when their arrests took place? Vous souvenez-vous du moment auquel l'arrestation a eu lieu? Answer. Réponse. I am not quite sure about the dates. Je ne suis pas certain From de my date. recollection, perhaps the arrest Dans mon souvenir, happened in 1977, late 1977 or early 1978. I could not recall the year very clearly. Uh, if I tell you um, it was June 1977, um, does that jog your memory? Est-ce que cela vous rafraîchit la mémoire? I could not tell you. I could not recall it exactly. It happened a long time ago, and I did not uh, care to think of uh, this. Perhaps, perhaps it, uh, the arrest was made in mid-1977 or mid late 1978, or it could be in early 1978. Do you recall um, how many days or how many weeks um, were lying between the moment that you got demoted by Taval and the day that Taval himself was arrested? Answer. Réponse. It happened in the, the rainy season in 1976, uh, from my recollection. La saison des pluies en 1976. I understand it's difficult to remember exact months and, and days. It's a long time ago, uh, Mr. Witness. But my question was, as the period of time between Taval's arrest and your demotion earlier, was it a month, was it a few weeks, was it two months? Do you recall? Answer. From my estimation, it was about it was about Après seven or eight months before the arrest. C'était peut-être sept ou huit mois avant l'arrestation. Um, just to assist you a bit, Mr. Witness, um, it looks like aider, um, le témoin, people started working at the dam. The Tapiang Tumar Dam in February 1977. Taval was arrested in June 1977. Were you demoted in the period between February 77 when everybody started working and the day of the arrest in June 77? Was it somewhere in between? Quand les gens ont commencé à travailler et l'arrestation de Taval en Juin 1977, était-ce à ce moment-là, <laughs> dans l'intervalle Answer, I am not able to recall it. Réponse, je ne suis pas en mesure. I forget it. J'ai oublié. I, uh, I uh, cannot recall it je ne souviens well. pas bien. And as you know, at that time, there was no calendar. Et comme vous savez, à l'époque, il n'y avait pas de calendrier. Um, oh, very well, Mr. Witness. Do you recall bien, who it was that arrested qui Val and whom? A Val et whom? Vous en souvenez-vous?
Answer regarding the arrest of Atawal and Dahuang, I uh, did not know who came to arrest them. We were in a mobile unit and uh, people said uh, they disappeared. I did not know who came to arrest them. Do you recall any connection between uh, the arrival of um, people from the southwest zone or the east zone uh, and the subsequent arrests of Val and Hun? Answer. At that time, uh, the southwest zone cadres came to replace the uh, previous cadres from the east. I did not know clearly what happened uh, because uh, there were no uh, proper meetings held after the replacement of uh, the cadre, uh, we were silent. Do you recollect uh, the arrival of cadres from the east zone uh, in sector 5? Cadres de la zone est dans le sector 5. From my estimation, it was in mid-1977, or perhaps it was almost in late 1977. But my question, uh, Mr. Witness, was whether you recollect anything um, about the arrival of cadres from the east zone. Answer. I am not able to recall the date of their arrivals. After they had arrived at uh, the place, no one said uh, they were from the east. Uh, but later on, I heard that uh, those uh, cadres were from the east. Uh, his own cadre had Le arrived at the place two months before uh, uh, the southwest zone cadre came. And do you recall anybody specific? Any east zone cadre who had come to the northwest zone? Un cadre de la zone est qui était venu dans la zone nord-ouest. Answer. Réponse. There were, there was a Tayun working at the Tropeang Tmo Dam and Tarin Otari. But, but were they from the east zone or were they from the southwest zone? They were from the southwest zone. How about a person with the name of Toi? Does that ring a bell? Answer, yeah. Uh, Toi was from the east. And do you remember what was Toi's uh, job? Why was he sent um, to the northwest zone? What did he do? Do you remember? Answer. I cannot recall it because after he had arrived at the place, the, uh, 
he Never. did not uh, help, hold any meeting, and Il later on, I did not know where he went. Et après, je ne sais pas où il est parti. Question. Do you recall how long it was vous vous de before temps or coulé after avant ou après Daval was arrested when the southwestern zone cadres came? Do you remember seeing them for the first time or hearing about their arrival for the first time? Des cadres. À quel moment vous souvenez-vous avoir entendu parler d'eux pour la première fois ou les voir pour la première fois? Answer. I have uh, told you already, uh, Catrice from the southwest zone arrived at that place in uh, mid-1977, and I cannot tell you the exact uh, day, month of that year. But do you recall what the day came in groups, or did they come one by one, um, or what is it that you remember? Man. Answer. Réponse. They came in groups Ils sont venus at that time. For example, uh, Catrice, Par exemple, in mobile units, they came together in groups. And the same applies to other squads or units. Um, Mr. Witness, let, let me read to you Monsieur an excerpt from your own statement, uh, a statement that you gave four years ago to uh, investigators of DC CAM. Same document as before, Mr. President, um, English ERN 00731135. French, zero, zero, sorry, zero one one two three seven and two nine and three zero and Khmer zero zero seven two eight eight one five and one six. So, Mr. Witness, I'm going to read a small excerpt from your own statement four years ago, and and then I will ask you if it's correct, yes or no. Question. What month was it that um, Taval was arrested? Quel and then you answer. Uh, that was probably in June. Probablement in en June 77? Question. Yes. En juin 1977. Did southwestern people oui. come when Taval was arrested? De la zone and then you answer. They came one by one. Ils sont venus un par un. One by one? Question. Question. Par un. Mark? They did not come all together until Taval was arrested. Question. Okay, so did only people from okay, southwestern zone come to this area? And then you answer. Well, first people from eastern zone came, but they were later arrested. There were many steps and many groups of people. I forgot the name of someone from the east zone. He was in charge of the regional mobile brigade. His assistants were educated. They held the BAC to certificate. He looked young, but then he disappeared. Oh, I remember him. His name was Tui. He took overall charge of this work. I did not know whether or not he was arrested, but he disappeared. After this moment, southwestern zone people came to control the area. Having read this, to you, Mr. Witness, does that somehow refresh your memory? Answer. Later on, uh, he disappeared. Il a disparu par la suite. And as I said, uh, uh, the cadres from the southwest zone came dit, to replace uh, him. Sont venus le uh, at first, uh, cadres from the uh, southwest zone came in four or five. In a group, and uh, later on, that they came together. But is it correct um, when I say that uh, the southwest zone cadres came 
et je uh, résolve one by one, que les cadres de la zone maybe four or five, as you say, before enfin, Taval was arrested, quatre ou, par groupe de quatre ou cinq avant l'arrestation de Taval. Bon, mon réponse. Answer yes. C'est exact. Before the arrest of Taval. Avant que Taval uh, sometime ait été arrêté, they arrived uh, one by one, sometimes they arrived un un in a group of four or five, and later on they came in large groups. Par la suite, ils sont venus en groupe plus long. Now, Question. Mr. Witness, you yourself um, stated to this ECAM vous avez dit au DCCAM que Taval était quelqu'un de méchant, d'absolu. Other witnesses before DC Cam have testified that um, Val was a vicious killer. Do you recall being released at the time of Taval's arrest? Answer: Whether he was a murderer. Or not, I cannot à savoir s'il si avait that. été I could say un meurtrier ou non, je ne saurais dire. Mais je pourrais person. dire que c'était quelqu'un de méchant. Uh, he was a killer or not? I uh, do not know je about ne sais pas that. I was si quite young at the time. J'étais très jeune à l'époque. Um, let's now go to uh, Da Hung. Question. J'aimerais parler de Tavon, was also arrested at about the same time. Lui aussi a été arrêté à peu près au même moment. You gave testimony last Thursday. Questions from the prosecution. En réponse à des questions de l'accusation, vous avez dit que at one point in time, Hung was replaced by Tarin. A été remplacé Tarin. But that, if I understand correctly, before Rin assumed power. There was an interim leading person, Tachil. Is that correct? Avant que Rin occupe ce poste, c'était Tachil qui était en poste avant lui. Bad. Trim travel. Yes, that is correct. Yes, it's exact. Let me ask you first a few questions about Tachil. What is it that you remember from him? Que de quoi vous souvenez-vous à son sujet With regard to Tachil, I do not recall anything. I never worked with him. Je ne me souviens de rien. I only knew that he was appointed on a provisional basis in charge of Sector Five. Temporaire. Do you remember who his father was? Vous souvenez-vous qui était son père? Réponse. Ros Niem. C'était Ros Niem. Et savez-vous qui était son épouse? Réponse. That I do not know. Je ne le savais pas. I do not know other people's. Tahang's or other people's wife. Je ne sais rien des épouses des autres personnes comme Tahang. Je sais simplement que c'était le fils de Rosnay. If I told you that Tachil was married to the daughter of the leader of the East Zone, Sao Pim, does that somehow jog your memory? La fille du chef de la zone est, Sao Pim, est-ce que cela vous rafraîchit la mémoire? I do not know, and I cannot recall because they were in the upper echelon, and whoever he or she got married to, we were in the below structures were not aware of. Very well. Mr. Witness, let's now turn to the person who replaced Hun, Tarin. You were briefly asked some questions 
about him uh, by the prosecution uh, last Thursday. Um, in your DC Chem statement, you said um, that when Rin replaced Val, uh, quote unquote, everything changed. Tout a changé. Um, what exactly did you mean when you said to the DC Chem investigator that everything changed when Tarin came? Quand Rin est arrivé. In terms of the change, the situation at that time was uh, chaotic. I did La not uh, keep abreast of the uh, situation. Donc, so when, at that time when the uh, southwest zone cadres arrived, uh, all, all of us were rather terrified back then. Terrorisé. Um, let me um, read a small excerpt uh, from your DC Chem statement to you um, about this RIN. Um, same document, Mr. President, English ERN 00731140, French 0112373. Um, and Khmer 00728823 and 24. So, Mr. Witness, the DC Chem investigator asks you four years ago um, to describe the uh, decree. And then you say, yes, he was polite. Uh, question How was his speech? And then you answer, polite. Question, did he stay at Trapping Tma overnight or come back in the evening? Sometimes he stayed there overnight among the region committee. I think he was different from others. He was thorough and just. Question, just? For example, you answer, when we butchered a cow, we had to make sure that everyone got the meat. He even checked every bag of fish in the warehouse. He was afraid that we kept some of our some for our own. I was impressed by him. Uh, you like Tarin? Question. Yes. You answer. Everybody admired him. But what was it for? I did not know what mistake he made. But in reality, he would blame anybody who brought more rice. Now, when you said, Mr. Witness, uh, in a question uh, from the DC Cam investigator that he was thorough and just, and that you were impressed by him, um, you, you gave an example, but can you be more specific? Why did you tell this to the investigator? Uh, as you um, mentioned, as for the distributions of uh, food supply or anything, uh, he would uh, follow uh, every uh, thing. Uh, in other words, he would follow up uh, whatever we did. Uh, he was. Uh, meticulous uh, person, he would uh, try to uh, understand uh, whatever we did at, at the time, even if we, for example, killed one buffalo and we had to share with others, he would uh, have to understand that. Um, I understand, Mr. Witness, but I'm trying to, um, to understand properly is, is, on the one hand, uh, you describe uh, Val as uh, part, vous Val, mean and absolute, and, absolute. and you describe Rin as thorough Rin and just. Et just. Now there seems to be, and if I'm mistaken, please correct me, uh, a contradiction between the two. Contradiction entre les deux. Enfin, moi, je me Can you expand a little further on this? Veuillez nous donner plus de détails.
บ้านยมจมเรียบบ้านโดยตะวันกันมอดจันโอตาวัล he was very uh, thorough very ตะวันเลยท strict Uh, when uh, he over oversaw uh, that, uh, he uh, was very meticulous. And as for t a r i n he was also meticulous, but uh, he was in charge of uh, economic affairs. He uh, wanted to make sure that it was equitably distributed uh, at the times whenever we had uh, something to share. Let me let me formulate it differently in my question, uh, Mr. Witness. Did anything change for the people who were working at the dam in terms of uh, food rations, uh, working conditions, when Taval, uh, when Tahun was replaced um, by Tarin? Did anything change? Or is that difficult to say? Changé, ou est-ce trop difficile pour vous de nous l'expliquer? It was not of much difference. It was très différent. But when he came, um, he uh, supply uh, regular uh, food uh, supplies. Uh, he ensures that if we had uh, to, uh, to give out uh, three cans per of rice uh, per person, then he would monitor that. But ever, sometimes when we did not actually have uh, food uh, either, for example, whenever we were on the offensive on the construction of the dams, then uh, we would have uh, access to uh, three cans per rice. But during rainy seasons, we had less. En période des pluies, par contre, nous avions moins de nourriture. Question. Um, Question. Mr. Witness, some evidence um, would seem to suggest. Or at least, according to some witnesses, that um, work at the dam became more difficult or harsher um, when Tarin had arrived. Um, I believe you just said that there wasn't much difference. Um, but when you try to recall specifically, can you see any? Do you remember any any change, any distinction in the two regimes at the dam? Quelle était la différence entre les conditions de travail sous ces deux régimes? Réponse. In my understanding, there was not much uh, change. D'après moi, il n'y avait pas beaucoup de changement. During uh, Taval. Uh, supervisions we uh, used to work uh, at night uh, as well but when uh, Taran came uh, we did not uh, work at night but in terms of the condition of work it was not much difference because we uh, had to uh, dig and carry uh, soil and others had to do that altogether at a time um, And we, at that time, uh, had to reinforce uh, more uh, labors in order to complete uh, the dams, but we could not uh, eventually complete it. Uh, Mr. Quest, Mr. Witness, the question is now, of course, if there wasn't much difference um, in the working regime when Tavar was in charge and Tahun was in charge uh, with the other period, Um, what was then the reason, if you if you know, for the arrests of Val and Hun? Val and Hun ont-ils été arrêtés? Si vous le savez. That I uh, did not know. Je ne le savais pas. Um, to to be uh, frank with you, if uh, you. Uh, 
ask at the witnesses at first uh, the, the answer answer would be the same because at that time we were down below the structure and we uh, did not have any knowledge of what was happening at the upper level um, well, Mr. Witness, this question was actually asked um, to other people who were in charge at the time of the dam. Um, and they spoke about uh, Tahong and Taval being involved in um, collecting weapons in order to start an armed rebellion. Does that ring a bell? I will, I will rephrase. I will rephrase, Mr. It's obviously as leading as you can get. Thank you. Well, I, uh, it's not leading in the sense that I first tried to establish whether he knew himself anything about the arrest. However, what I will do is I will read an excerpt. To tell a witness, this is what some... Hello, The President. Uh, Please, Mr. Coupe, uh, rephrase uh, the uh, question. And uh, Mr. Mr. the prosecutor, question. please uh, kindly Procureur. wait uh, for the reformulation of the questions before que, uh, your uh, objections, because uh, he has uh, uh, indicated that uh, he would refresh uh, his uh, question. Le a déjà dit il um, let me... Uh, go a little back. D did I just understand vais, your answer correctly okay, when okay. you said um, that vous you really didn't know uh, something about the reasons for the arrest of Taval and Taval Tahon? Is that correct? Pas été yes, exact. De that I do not know. Je I, 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 I don't know the reason. Je ne sais pas pourquoi. Having established this, uh, I think now, voilà Mr. Witness, Mr. Mr. President, I, I think I, I would be entitled to um, read an excerpt from another witness un uh, and then ask and, and ask whether this Et will ensuite, somehow uh, jog this um, witness's si memory. And I'm intending to read um, the following Je excerpt, Mr. President. President. The President, uh, Mr. Prosecutor, you may uh, proceed, please. Your Honor, this witness has clearly stated that he does not know the reason for these arrests. To read someone else's statement and say, does this ring a bell, does this refresh your recollection, is the definition of leading. It's suggesting to the witness an answer. He can ask the, he's at, he can ask a witness, he's entitled, does he know why Ta Ball was arrested? He could confront him with inconsistent statements if this witness has made previous inconsistent statements. But you cannot then read another witness, one cherry pick, frankly, out of many, to say, uh, does this ring a bell with you? Does this remind you? Um, Mr. President, I think this is an entirely Monsieur proper uh, way of questioning. Que ma façon I try to um, be open in my questions first, uh, and question now, uh, especially since this witness um, sometimes needs uh, his memory being refreshed, that happened uh, already two or three times now with his own statement. And now if I read an excerpt from uh, another witness, um, then I think that is a proper way of questioning. And if he doesn't know, he doesn't know. It's, it's as simple as that.
The President, uh, Judge uh, Claude Defense, uh, you may proceed. Council, before we allow you to read this statement or part of the statement, we wish to clarify for the record two things. Uh, first of all, is this a DC CAM statement or is it a on record, please? Yes, it's a DC CAM statement, um, specifically um, E3 slash 9076, and there's two excerpts. Um, one is on English page 0073-1170 and two pages further down. Yeah, another question. Uh, has this person ever been questioned by the court, meaning by the uh, during pre-trial? Um, that's a good question. As far as we know, no. Um, this person, as far as you know, on the list of people who will be questioned here uh, at trial, most, most likely um, our list uh, at one point in time, but not now. Uh, uh, again? Uh, we might, well, we, we are considering in, uh, uh, considering asking this question, uh, asking this witness to come uh, at one point in time, maybe during this segment or uh, the segment of the uh, purges. And can you, at this point in time, present other statements that mention this issue? Or is this the only one? No, there are um, a few others as well, uh, including uh, someone who testified here last week. Uh, in this case, it's clear you are not refreshing the, the, the person's memory, but you are confronting him with um, a statement, a DC CAM statement. Um, since this is on record, go ahead. Thank you, Judge um, Mr. Witness, um, I would like to read an excerpt from um, a statement that someone else who is familiar with what happened at the dam gave to DC Chem. Um, because this person might at one point uh, be summoned as a witness, I would like you uh, to have a look at um, the first page of uh, his DC Camp statement, look at the name, uh, and then without you uh, saying the name, I would like to ask you whether you know this person. Um, so, Mr. President, I ask your leave to show the first page of this DC Camp statement to the witness to see if he, if he, if he knows the, the particular person. Déposition au témoin pour voir s'il reconnaît le nom de la personne. Le président, allez-y. Mr. Witness, do you know this person? Mr. Copper. Monsieur le témoin, connaissez-vous cette personne? I have heard of his name, but I never met him in person. Um, that's all right, Mr. Witness. Um, he, this person, gave testimony to DC Cam. And, um, on English page, as I said before, 00731170 and uh, Khmer 00728868. Um, this witness testified as follows. Um, President, uh, Mr. Copper, could you repeat the ERN numbers once again? Uh, the interpreters could not uh, follow 
les interprètes ne parviennent pas à vous suivre. Of course, Mr. President. Donc, on va attendre le, 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 le président. Please, uh, wait, uh, Mr. Coppe, you may not proceed first, uh, Judge Lavange. Euh, monsieur le témoin, la parole est au juge de la mer. Monsieur. Oui, merci, yes, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Maître Coppé, est-ce qu'il vous serait possible également de donner les ERN en français J'ai noté que la semaine dernière, en toute une journée, vous n'avez donné pratiquement aucun ERN en français. Je sais que vous n'aviez pas eu beaucoup de temps pour préparer l'interrogatoire du témoin, mais là, il me semble quand même que vous aviez largement de temps de préparer, donc il serait bon de maintenir cette pratique, de donner les ERN dans les trois langues. Merci. I would be very happy to, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Judge Lavergne. Um, this morning, I think I did um, give French ERNs. However, for this particular witness, there is no French translation yet. Uh, so I won't be able to give you a French ERN. Um, Mr. Witness, um, this particular person said uh, as follows. Later on, whom, ta whom, had a plan to take all members of mobile work units and make them into soldiers to fight against the Khmer Rouge. He provided one pair of cloth and one scarf for each. He wanted to give weapons to the mobile units. Does this um, somehow sound familiar or not at all? Answer. I have never heard of uh, that statement. The place where we go, there we went and collected uh, the rice that was away from our workplace, and I did not know about the arrangement. This um, same witness. Um, also talked a little further down in his statement to the he came and he said as follows um, English uh, UN 0073 and Khmer 0072 and um, he's being asked a question about um, uh, Tachil Tanim and Tahum. Um, did, the question is now about Tanim. Did Tanim come quite often or never? He answers, he came quite often when there was a plan. Later on, he came in at night and daytime, in the evening and sometimes at 2 p.m. Question, what did he come for? He, Tanim, brought sandals. Cambodian sandals from the eastern zone for the mobile units. Question, wow, bring sandals? Answer, nice sandals were given to us. At the time, there was a plan. I was very afraid of that plan. Question, what kind of plan? Answer, when Taval spoke at the same time, scarves, cigarette lighters, and white shirts were given to the leaders. Then he would say, you are all captains. He repeated, you are all captains, Colonel. He pointed at and walked out joking with the cadres after the meeting. He compared the selection of mobile unit the same the military did. The plan was at Phnom Kong Kleng. The plan could not be executed, but I just learned about that plan. Not meeting for killing people. If there was a meeting to have a plan, it was secret. Um, so, Mr. Witness, this witness uh, is talking before DC Cam, Tanim bringing sandals from the East Zone. Um, Taval spoke about uh, uh, people being captain, etc. A plan, a secret plan. Does it somehow uh, jog your memory? Cela vous rappelle quelque chose? Answer. 
regarding my sharing plan i was not aware of that as for the sandals are brought from the east i did see those sandals and those sandals were distributed to members of mobile units uh, is it possible, Mr. Witness, that you haven't heard anything of this plan because uh, at an earlier stage Taval had demoted you? I do not know about that. I uh, was in the position in, you know, almost at the end end of uh, the work assignment, and I was assigned to work on the dam uh, from places to places. Um, Mr. President, I'm, I'm looking at the clock. This might be a convenient moment um, to take the morning break. President, thank you very much, uh, Council. It is now appropriate time for break, and the Chamber will take a break now until 10.30. Court officer, please uh, find a proper place for this witness during the break time, and uh, please invite uh, witness together with the duty council back into the courtroom at 10.30. The court is now in recess.